Hi guys, PJ here. Today we are working on a 2017 Mercedes A-Class and we are fitting a next base camera into it. Now fitting the camera into this vehicle means that when you turn the ignition on and off, the camera will power on and off with the ignition key or switch as it is. So in other words, it's not on all the time and draining your battery, etc. Now you're going to need a fitting kit for this uh, for this camera, of which you can buy from Amazon, eBay, etc. There are a general sort of thing. There's a couple of other bits though as well. Obviously, you're going to need your memory card. Tools-wise, the most important thing is a plastic leverage tool, such as this one. This is a Bojo tool again, eBay, Amazon, etc. You can normally get these for about a pound. You don't want to be levering any of your dashboard with a screwdriver or metal device. You will damage it. Now the first thing to do is start at the top of your dashboard, so right up here, look. So we've got our power cable that's in the kit that comes along. Now you can buy the kits like say off Amazon, and basically you get a power cable, you get a little filter there for radio interference, so all you do is open those up, wrap the power cable around it and close them and click them short. Then you can normally put your fingers under the headlining, just pull it down a little bit. Uh, don't like, you know, don't go at it like a bull in a china shop, it is only fabric and cardboard. But all I do is wrap a couple of cable ties around the cable, a bit of electrical tape over the top of them, just to stop them having sharp edges. And then tuck the cable up, well under, like so. The reason I use the cable ties is if you hit a big pothole, the last thing you want is the, the cable dangling down in front of your window and falling down. They're just to hold it up, yeah? Work your way along the edge here with the cable until you get to the pillar here. Next up, you're going to have to get the rubber seal door seal just sort of pull at it gently there we go and it comes away look until you get to the top here just there look now you can put your fingers in and do that yeah once you get to that stage hook your wire under it like so so you, you sort of dangling make sure you got a free cable spare and then we're going to tuck that down using our plastic leverage tool now i might need both hands for this so i'll cut the video but we just shove it all down tuck it out of the way not too deep your airbag starts sort of here this sort of height so you don't want to go any lower than that yeah keep it the top inch thread your cable all the way down the edge here until you get to this end plastic panel the one on the end of the dashboard here open your glove box pop your, your plastic leverage tool in and just do that yeah then the panel, as you can see, just falls away. Now, it's only on little spring clips. There you go, so it's very easy to pull off. You know, you don't have to be mad at it. And the reason we took it off is because we're after one of these bolts to use as an earthing point. Okay, so what we're going to do is take one of those bolts out and earth the earth cable, which is on the end of your power cable. So there's your power cable that we thread up to the top of the window screen. And on the end of your power cable, look, is an earth which will sit behind the bolt and the power, the red one there with the bullet connector on, which will connect to a fuse spur, which is one of these things. Now, fuse spurs are available from most motor accessory shops. On a Mercedes such as this, you want a mini blade fuse, which is this size. They also come in the older large blade fuse and micro blade. So you want a mini blade fuse adapter. And all it does, you pull the fuse out, that's an ignition switched shove this in and put your original fuse back in so it powers the original circuit and the camera that's the camera fuse and then your original fuse goes in here now obviously we'll be using a multimeter or a test screwdriver to see which circuit goes on and off with the ignition and we will be using an accessory fuse never use anything for abs or engine management or airbags nothing like that okay so it must be an accessory fuse that goes on and off with the ignition and I will point out at this stage, if you have any doubts about doing this job, seek professional advice. I am in no way held liable for damage or injury to yourself from watching this video guide and acting on it. Okay, so we'll just connect our earth cable up now and uh, we'll splice the video to carry on from that. Okay, so we've removed our 13mm bolt from the side of the dashboard. Yeah, so that one just there, look. And what we've done is basically I've put a washer, a ring terminal for the earth cable and then another washer. The reason there's a washer either end of it, when you turn it round to tighten it up, you don't want the cable spinning round and snapping and that will stop that from happening. So like I say, it's a 13mm motor bolt, go ahead put that back in and that's your earth connection completely finished. Okay, so your next bit is to locate the fuse box and it's hiding under your passenger mat. Yeah, so 
fold your carpet right down, you have to sort of tug it from the back and fold it down. Don't worry, it's meant to do that. It's on a, a sort of flexy bit. And then you've got this cover. Well, there's a spring clip on the side that you push in and then the door opens like so, revealing your entire fuse box, okay? So we're now going to be looking for uh, an, basically a switchable fuse. We'll get the multimeter and have a go. Okay, so we've decided we're using none of the microblade fuses on this car because this particular model is quite a high-end model, it's got a lot of optional extras and they're all live. So what we're going to use is a full-size fuse, it's actually the headlight one, circuit, 5 amp one just here, basically third from the end, so there's yellow one, there's a gap, and then there's the 5 amp. If we touch on that, zero voltage up, so that is completely off and dead. When we turn the ignition on, it does go live. That is the perfect circuit to use. Non-critical system, goes on and off with the ignition key. Your car may vary depending on spec and year and what accessories are fitted. Your fuse box may have a different setup completely. As we can see, the fuse box layout from the little guide that comes with it, there's quite a lot to it. So, you know, you, might, you are gonna have to test each fuse individually to see which one suits your car. So we're gonna plug our fuse spur in, tidy everything up and then test the camera. Okay, so fuse spur plugged in where the original fuse went, just here, look. Cable run along tidily out the way, straight up there, look. Hooked up over the cable in so it doesn't dangle down. And then we've just tidied it all up, ready to tuck it down there out the way so it doesn't catch on anything before we test the camera. Okay, so camera plugged in. Everything tucked away nicely. You're looking for a factory fit, factory fit you know, flush fit. You don't want any... Uh, bit still sticking out so make sure it's all nice and neat basically turn the key on see if your camera powers up so we'll do that now all going well it should and there we go guys you have successfully wired it to your fuse box and it's ready to go you've got a little lightning strike there showing you it's powered properly and charging battery backup of course on these cameras turn off and your lightning strike disappears to show that the power has gone and it's on battery power and that is how you fit a camera in a 2017 A-Class Mercedes. If you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments. I do my best to answer the questions the same working day. No promises, I do do my best. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.